the global digital twin market is set for meteoric growth, with one region in particular driving adoption. According to a new report from Allied Market Research, the digital twin market will rise from $6.5 billion in 2021 to $125.7 billion by 2030. The expected compound annual growth rate is nearly 40%. Digital twins are virtual replicas of real-life entities that provide deep insights for predicting and optimizing performance across sectors. Allied Market Research says the automotive and transportation markets are especially driving demand, aiming to develop more efficient and innovative vehicles. Asia-Pacific is expected to be the fastest-growing region, according to the research, with strong economic growth necessitating automation with significant investments in Internet of Things and smart technology. Digital twin technology is evolving at such a rapid rate, it's hard for virtually anyone to keep up. The following are just some notable recent developments. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date as digital twinning advances. Leave a comment to suggest digital twin projects that should be included in future roundups. For the first time ever, Digital twins of elite swimmers are being used for Olympic training for this summer's games in Paris. Researchers from Emory University and the University of Virginia have been working on creating virtual replicas of Olympic swimmers since 2015. They use devices called inertial measurement units to record swimmers' body measurements 512 times per second. The swimmers wear the sensors on their wrists, ankles, or back during tests to ensure every movement is measured. Advanced sensors measure the force generated by swimmers' hands, delivering rich insights to improve their technique. The researchers reported the results to the Scientific American. The U.S. government is working on a strategic plan for digital twin technology that will guide all federal agencies on the technology. The Networking and Information Technology Research and Development Program is seeking input on its National Digital Twins R&D Strategic Plan until the end of July. The plan will seek to unify digital twin integrations so the technology can be deployed at scale. They're seeking commentary on anything that involves creating virtual models of physical entities that reflect their real-world states. The program's RFI mentions AI integrations, data management, regulatory challenges, and international collaboration as they encourage topics. New footage of the GR1 general purpose humanoid robot appears to show a brain-computer interface for robotic control. The Shanghai-based Fourier Intelligence released new footage of the 5'5 humanoid robot. The video notes improvements to the robot over the last six months, including more flexible hands, voice interaction training, integration with digital twin technology, and extended reality application. Weighing 121 pounds, the GR1 can carry objects up to 110 pounds and features 40 degrees of freedom. The robot can navigate complex environments with advanced motion control and self-adaptive balance capability. Its camera-based Pure Vision system uses six RGB cameras for a 360-degree view. The robot is intended for industrial, healthcare, and domestic tasks. Researchers say they tested nearly 12,000 organic solar cells in 24 hours by combining leading-edge digital twin and machine learning capabilities with legacy printing technology. The international team created a platform called Microfactory to improve solar cell production in a closed-loop system. They use digital twins for simulations and process optimizations. The virtual replicas provided comprehensive data used for rapid iteration and refinement of solar cell designs. They printed the cells using roll-to-roll -roll technology, a highly efficient manufacturing process allowing for continuous production of flexible materials. The findings were reported in Cell Reports Physical Science. Xiaomi says its new, fully automated smart factory can make 10 million smartphones per year. In a video posted to X, Xiaomi founder and CEO Lei Jun said the dark factory has 11 production lines and 100% of key processes are automated. The factory, located in China's Changping district, will produce new foldable phones at a rate of one device every three seconds around the clock. This is our 屏幕上呢，显示的就是我们自研的。
小米 Hype IMP 的智能制造平台。这里呢，就是工厂的整个大脑。Jun said the heart of the factory is the Xiaomi Hyper Intelligent Manufacturing Platform. The software uses advanced AI-powered digital twins to proactively find and solve issues before they cause disruptions. The 80,000 square foot factory's key processes are controlled by Xiaomi's homegrown AI-driven platform. The software gives the factory highly advanced self-perception, self-decision making, and self-execution capabilities. Using real-time data, the system independently diagnoses equipment problems, improves process flows, and manages entire production processes from raw material procurement to delivery. According to reports, micron-level dust removal systems ensure a meticulously clean production area. The level of cleanliness is similar to an operating room. A select few humans work in the factory in the control room, wearing full gowns and caps to maintain the environment. The new fully automated factory follows a pilot project in Yizhuang. The smaller factory produced around a million units per year of Xiaomi's mixed-fold smartphones. The Yizhuang facility served as a testing ground for Xiaomi's autonomous tank before scaling to the much larger, more advanced factory. Xiaomi has also been boasting its new smart EV factory. The Chinese manufacturer is banking on the assembly being fast enough to seriously disrupt the market. Xiaomi, known for its smart devices, is venturing beyond consumer electronics with its first car, the SU7. The electric full-size sedan was unveiled in March 2024. The manufacturer started taking orders the same day. The SU stands for Speed Ultra. There are three versions available, the SU7, the SU7 Pro, and SU7 Max. Jun claims the Xiaomi Smart Super Factory can build 40 cars per hour so a new vehicle could roll off the production line every 76 seconds. According to Auto Evolution, more than 700 robots operate throughout the factory. In the body shop, 20 human workers are assisted by 381 robots with eight bots per workstation. Alina Lukian writes, from the moment the parts are picked up until they are assembled to the car body, it takes less than 30 seconds. Codenamed MS-11 during its development, the design was led by Li Tianyuan, who previously worked for BMW. It was benchmarked against the Porsche Taycan and Tesla Model S. The SU7 is entering the market after a $10 billion investment announced in 2021. Xiaomi's plans are ambitious. The Beijing factory has an annual capacity of 150,000 units. With phase one of production on track, Xiaomi aspires to enter the top five global car makers. Production times for Teslas vary, with reports of the Model Y taking just 45 seconds at peak manufacturing speed. Tesla has a level of automation and digital maturity other manufacturers aspire to. The SU7 is priced strategically to undercut Tesla's Model 3, whose sales have benefited from local production at Gigafactory Shanghai. According to Reuters, Xiaomi reported receiving nearly 90,000 pre-orders within the first 24 hours of its availability. The BBC reports that buyers have been told it may take up to six months for their vehicles to be delivered. Xiaomi has no plans on attempting to penetrate the North American market with its EV sedan, according to Inverse. Rather, it will focus on competing in China with Tesla and BYD, the top-selling electric vehicle maker. BYD's focus is on expanding into international markets in Australia, Brazil, and Europe. Humanoid characters can move more realistically through complex 3D worlds with a new technology developed by researchers from NVIDIA. The system, called Playmo, uses reinforcement learning to make characters walk, run, and crawl naturally. Playmo is short for plan and move. It combines planning paths and controlling movements to navigate terrain and obstacles. Playmo allows humanoids to follow planned paths effectively while responding to dynamic environmental changes. Potential applications include video game development, immersive and realistic virtual reality, robotics, animated entertainment, and simulation training programs. NVIDIA also generated buzz with its new AI tool designed to make digital humans more lifelike than ever. The tech giant just announced the release of NVIDIA ACE Generative AI Microservices to create super realistic digital humans. Companies in customer service, gaming, and healthcare are among the early users of the tools. The suite includes tools for speech recognition, language understanding, and realistic facial animations. 
NVIDIA is expanding ACE to 100 million RTX AI PCs and laptops, unlocking accessibility for developers to use AI models on personal devices. Dell and NVIDIA are partnering to build an AI factory that will help improve Elon Musk's Grok AI model. Dell is providing computers, storage, and software, while NVIDIA supplies powerful H100 GPUs for the factory. The facility will be one of the largest AI factories in the world. The project aims to make artificial intelligence easier to use for businesses. The factory will manufacture and assemble computing infrastructure like server racks and liquid-cooled architectures. The companies plan to create a supercomputer that enhances Grok's performance. Oracle will also be involved to further boost AI capabilities. Its planned location has not been disclosed. The factory is expected to be operational by fall 2025. Siemens and Microsoft are combining their digital twin languages. So what does that mean? Microsoft's digital twin definition language is designed specifically for the tech giant's Azure platform. The W3C Thing description, which emerged in 2020 as part of the Web of Things, offers a generalized framework that Siemens is already planning to facilitate with future projects. Microsoft and Siemens just announced they're blending the two frameworks. They say the universal framework combines the best of both worlds, the Microsoft detailed approach and the W3C flexible, web-oriented language. They're aiming to make it easier for various Internet of Things devices to communicate, increasing accessibility for digital twin technology. Thomas Kiesling, Chief Technology Officer at Siemens Smart Infrastructure, called the two languages very similar. He said in a press release that converging them is an essential move that will enable customers to describe the physical world in a way that is agnostic to specific IoT platforms. The announcement noted that the company's customers typically deploy a mix of vendors in their tech stacks. Combining the frameworks avoids locking users into one vendor. Digital transformation leaders frequently cite integrations with rigid systems as a main blocker to their initiatives. According to Eric Barnstedt, a Microsoft chief architect, standardizing the digital twin definition language through a consortium like W3C has been planned from the start. He said merging the languages in close partnership with Siemens is the natural next step in our journey to democratize digital twins in the industry. Gillette Stadium's new digital twin is already transforming the venue's operations. The Kraft Group partnered with Team D3 to create the virtual replica of the stadium. The digital twin connects infrastructure like electricity, gas, and sewer systems into one format. Integrating building information modeling and geographic information systems, data helps manage the stadium and Patriot Place more efficiently. According to Sports Business Journal, the digital twin will also be used to plan special events and offer digital tours of suites. The technology enables easier selling of premium seating by showing detailed virtual views that are easier to understand than CAD files or blueprints. Gillette Stadium, home to the New England Patriots and New England Revolution, has a stadium capacity of nearly 65,000 and consistently sells out NFL games, Major League Soccer matches, and concerts. Porsche is reporting rapid progress in developing digital twins for electric vehicle batteries. The luxury automaker is using AI-powered digital twins to monitor high-voltage EV batteries. The virtual replicas of real batteries help predict and prevent problems before they happen. In a news release, the company said digital twins monitor battery data to understand how the battery ages and performs over time. AI detects issues early and sends alerts to car owners for repairs. The technology also helps satisfy new laws requiring detailed battery performance info. What other digital twin use cases are emerging in 2024? Sound off in the comments. For deep dives into the past and future of digital twin technology, check the related videos in the description.